Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to another video. Now as you can see, it's pretty cold here in New Zealand. I, I, I believe it's like five degrees right now. It feels like zero, but it's pretty cold this morning. Uh, even, the, even on the camera, it looks freezing cold, which it is. Um, but welcome back to another video. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for following my projects, following my channel and following my stories. Now I've got a really cool story. Um, I'll get into it very soon. But I just want to tell you guys, we have now have a podcast for I'm Adopted. And you can actually tune in on Apple Podcasts and get, or on Spotify, whatever is whatever's possible. You can probably find it somewhere on Google Podcasts. I think they have as well. But that's available not in New Zealand, so I don't know. But um, please go check that out. Um, do have a listen um, because I think it's a really great podcast to share for, adopt for adoptees around the world, telling their stories and sharing the experiences. And that's what I'm trying to do. So just trying to help you guys connect around the world. And even if you're not part of the adoption, you know, topical to adoption side, you can still have a listen because I think it, you might find it quite interesting. And I really hope that you guys can tune in. So I was trying to think of what to say, because this is actually, um, I've done this little spell about the podcast a few times. So now I'm starting to lose track of it, to, to be honest with you. But let's get back into the story of, well, let's get into the story of Maxim. Now, um, he was actually adopted from Siberia. There's actually a town he was from, but I can't pronounce it exactly. The story is online, but he, was, he came to New Zealand in 2002 and he, he left behind three siblings in Russia. Now, let's, that's 2002. So now let's go to now. And last Sunday, one of the three siblings, one of the, the sister actually reached out to me via the I'm Adopted project and asked if I could track down the younger brother who was adopted out in 2002. Now I thought this was pretty crazy but I said um, let's see what we can find and we shared it through the I'm Adopted page and I also did a bit of searching myself and I managed to track down the younger brother. He actually lives 20 minutes away from me um, and I told the sister in Russia, I said look you have a younger brother, he lives in New Zealand, I've tracked him down and everything really happened very fast within 24 hours I would say and now now the younger brother Maxim has contact with his three siblings in Russia. So it's a pretty incredible story. It was shared on I'm Adopted and it has had a lot of feedback and it was also appear, it also appeared in the news here in the newspaper and the online news as well. So that was pretty cool. It was a little bit, it all happened very fast and it was very rushed in, in regards to the media side, but that's, I guess that's what media does. It picks up stories and it shares stuff like that. But it was a pretty, pretty incredible and beautiful story of just how, <laughs> just how these three siblings want to look for the younger brother after all these years and that definitely happened and I just think it's 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 I, it just shows you how small the world is and I think it was pretty inspirational to really see how this younger brother has agreed to contact with have contact with these siblings so that happened just at the start of the week and it happened very fast and like I said within 24 hours and then he agreed to talk to them um, so what happened was I reached out to the doc to the adoption agency here in New Zealand and I, I asked if you could help me find this younger brother. Now they never gave out any, any contact, any names, but they contacted Maxim privately and said if you want to contact Alex, it's your choice, you can contact him and take that next step. So he reached out to me, sent me a message and said, hi, I believe I have some siblings looking for me. I said, yes, you have three siblings in Siberia and everything matched up with the story, the orphanage name, the, the last name and when he was born as well. So it was very, and they look very similar. So that was pretty incredible. And only last night I met Maxim for the first time and I got to meet him and have a chat and talk to him about this incredible story. So that happened last, well, this week, it's Saturday, well, last week, this week, happened yesterday, end of the week. Um, and um, it's a beautiful story and I'm very proud of just how I'm Adopted is helping people connect and just how, how big the community is. And that's what I'm all about, trying to help you guys and try and grow the project and get the story out there. So it's pretty incredible for me. And that's why we've got the podcast as well, because we're sharing more stories while we're just talking about our own experiences. It's good to have that, have that support. Even on YouTube as well, I know not all of you guys are related to adoption, but I know you guys genuinely just like to see what I'm doing. And that's what I'm all about as well. So I'm always trying to share that to you guys and spread the word and just make everyone connect and make, make everything okay. And that's what I'm trying to do, really just trying to make things for the better for everybody, trying to make a mark in the world and just try and help out. So that's what I'm really trying to do. And I, I put a post up last night up on Instagram of me meeting Maxim, um, which was pretty cool and it had a lot of nice feedback. And I, I, just, I just thought, well, look, it's, it's from the help of you guys and the support four years later down the line, because I'm adopted, it's four years now, four years old now. 
I wouldn't have been able to do it without your guys' help and support. Because before I started this, a lot of people kind of looked down on me and didn't really want me to do such a project. And they thought, oh, this won't work, this won't help people. It's a stupid idea, the name is stupid, but it's awesome to see where it is today. And it's, it's great. I look back, of course I was younger then, everything was younger and everything was different. Um, but now four years later, and hopefully the next four years are even gonna be better. But it's just about connecting you guys and sharing my stories with you guys on YouTube as well, sharing my experiences and sharing what I'm doing all the time, which is something I'm gonna keep on doing and something I'm very proud of as well. I'm gonna keep on growing it. It's actually really interesting seeing really early videos on, on my YouTube channel compared to now, because it's very cold here, as I was just saying. And we had videos when it was in the middle of the summer, and it was very humid and just awful, it was so hot. Um, that's pretty cool to see that. So. <laughs> That's, that's why I love doing filming and photography as part of my job and that's why I love doing that. But thank you guys so much. And I thought I'd tell the story. I'm going to get back into my work now. Uh, I've got some more stuff happening. I've got the I'm Adopted Meetup next week. So we'll, we will be covering that and we're gonna do some more podcasts as well. Obviously got to keep them going as well. Um, but more videos to come of course. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe below. Um, please click that button. I appreciate the feedback, the support. Um, when I do these talking videos, of course I lose the old one subscriber, that's okay, I fully understand you. If you don't like me talking about stuff, that's cool, but honestly, trust me, there's a lot of really cool stuff to come and a lot happening and you guys just following me through social media and through YouTube is just, it's enough to, for me to say thank you. Um, so that's awesome and I appreciate it too much. I appreciate it immensely. So until next time, das sedanya, espasiva boshoya, E dobra ucha is Nova Zelandi. Paka paka. Thank you very much. Good morning from New Zealand. Cold, cold New Zealand. Um, if you're in the world and you've got a summer right now, I'm very jealous. Uh, I wish I could come over and see that. I was, I was over in the summer last month in uh, Ireland and the, in America as well. But it was very quickly and just very quick for work. But I would love to go there for a holiday right now. I'd love that. If you guys can give me a free holiday, I'm joking, I'm joking. Got to work hard, save the money and go and do it. That's what I plan to do. I plan to go to Russia sometime soon. Um, so I'm just getting there and I think I will plan to go. I don't know when it will be. Hopefully it won't be very cold when I go. Like this is very cold right now. It feels very cold, but I better get inside and uh, leave you guys to it. Enjoy, the, enjoy your weekend, enjoy your day, and thank you so much, and thank you. I appreciate it.